Good morning, y'all. Firstly, I do not mean to disrespect our president, who is currently representing Nigeria at COP28 in Dubai. I do not wish to disrespect him. But let's watch this video. It was his turn to make a speech to address delegates, world leaders, and dignitaries. And our president was making this speech. I don't really do not really understand or comprehend. After playing the video, I'm also going to read out what he said. And we hope the two dead nations and the Emirates will be able to help us through. And the largest economies that have benefited immensely to do more repairs because their heart needs healing and is crying for attention more quickly. Thank you very much. He said, he said, and we hope the two gas nations and the Emirates will be able to help us hope. And the largest economy that have benefited immensely to do more repairs because dispose they have need healing. And is crying for attention more quickly. Thank you. Can somebody educate me, please? Is it that I do not have the grabs knowledge to understand what our president is saying? Can somebody uh, uh, explain to me? And I think we really need to see the entire video so that we can ascertain President Tunubu. What were you saying? You understand? Don't be like uh, this uh, former senator from the House of Rebels, senator from Edo State, that speaks in BBBB grammar that people do not understand. Please, uh, majority of uh, people there do not really comprehend. They just want straight up response, straight up response that are no. That are really arranged. No big English, no twisting and everything. If you say I am coming to school, let it be that you are saying I am coming to school. It shouldn't be that I'm come to school, um to school come to school. Let it be that I'm coming to school is I am coming to school. <laughs> Don't twist it and uh, make us start thinking oh what's our president saying well he's our president though like i've said before i do not mean to disrespect our president but i honestly couldn't comprehend what he was saying honestly i know still feel comprehend what he was saying and you know there is so many other controversies concerning that cop 28 with the ta 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 trend that concerns Tokimakiwa, when someone alleged that Tokimakiwa was included in item seven of the president, which I honestly think is total lies, you know. But whoever brought Tokimakiwa to that conference, I don't understand why. Because if you check now, Tokimaki Wa is on Instagram posting all kind of you no know, fine videos, touring uh, Dubai, going to club and relaxing herself on taxpayers' money. On taxpayers' money, and someone is trying to make us understand that the federal government didn't sponsor this trip using taxpayers' money. And that is Rino Omokere. Rino Omokere said, if you actually believe that President Tunubu used 
public funds to pay for one thousand for one thousand four hundred Nigerians to be on his entourage to COP twenty eight, then you are you are below average intelligent. Are this not the same lie that our reporters told you and made you vote our president Jonathan only to start suffering under Buhari? And only for Buhari to arrest and detain Seymour Showare, who lies enabled him to become president. Now, Showare is trendy, free Showare. It is all right to hate President Tunubu, but at least engage your brain before believing every propaganda you see from notorious dishonest media like Arise TV and Sahara Reporters. Okay, good and fine. So can you now well on the can you now now that you have said that okay the federal government never used by a public fund to fund this uh this this trip okay can you also make us understand uh, how how was it funded? For people like us who do not understand, who have this low IQ, make us understand how was the trip funded? We talk so much of so much English, so much explanation without explaining where the fund was getting from. You haven't given us fact. About where the phone was got it from, but you are busy in castigating, say, Oh, you have low IQ, you should think this money was, was a public fund. Then tell us where was it? Oh, you know, mockery that person may have to get respect for that man, eh? he doesn't deserve any atom of respect. I swear on God. The only kind of person he is is that he looks down on anyone who doesn't correspond with him. We insult you based on intelligence. We talk to you any hour. It's not a good person, honestly. Let's be honest. That person, you know, mockery is, is never a good person. I don't know what you guys saw before. Never a good person. He's a politician and he's still looking for it. But uh, oh, if if I think who had saw things in Reno mockery there, then he shouldn't have engaged in Reno mockery at all. If the politician, ah, I trust Tinubu now. I trust Tinubu. Tinubu do not like fakeness around him. He doesn't like fakeness. So there's never a time in Reno where I get fake from Tinubu. Never. Because those things are fake. You made all sorts of uh, sorts of uh, allegation, trying to educate us on some, something, but yet not educating us. You called us for this and that, but yet you refuse to tell us where the public funds, where the funding came from. Uh uh why now, Reno? So, like I've said before, can someone please re-educate us to tell us? What exactly Tunubu was talking about at that place? I don't understand. Please, Mr. I think the essay, the media assistants to quickly clarify Nigerians. Because it's our president. We really need to know if if he represented us well, if the benefit of going to that uh, COP28 uh, was achieved. No briefing. Briefing. For those who have been able to see the night, but those who we want to remain perpetually kind, as we will, we are going to be. That is uh, Malam Halahaji Asari Dukumbo, sleeping online. 
while on uh, on on his page on Facebook. Uh, you know, recently he, he he tried, according to him, according to his will, to correct our about the new that the Benin people who think it is correct for them to say they found Lagos, you know, corrected them very, very, very well. Me, I don't know history because my parents never taught me any history. I don't know history because I was required to learn history in school about different, different kingdoms, about how this is gotten out, but I was never taught. The only history they were, were taught were the British, all those things. I was never taught. So I hope they are teaching our kids now history. It's unfortunate. I'm not going to blame myself for not knowing the origin, even origin of Benisef. I only knew there, there's a certain place I, I knew was Delta was part of Benin, it was combined the Republic and then divided. Then now our side has become a do. Why the Benin as the capital? Why Delta is there and uh, became a Delta state as Saba as the capital? You know, so many other stuff, little, little things I know, but I don't know all. Then, moving forward, check out the trending video, mixed reaction video uh, of a policewoman helping Oshun State First Lady wear her earrings. You know, uh, this is not the first time we have seen similar issues before. In Nigeria, the public has cried out that our police force, the uniform, is not for house help or for house boys or for house girls or for house help women. Yes, we have cried before. That policewoman, eh, if she removes that uniform, wear ordinary civilian uh, clothes, Nobody will pick any offense. She's free to do that. But as long as you are wearing that uniform, you are representing a Nigerian force. And by doing that, you are further pushing that narrative that we are all slaves to these politicians. I don't understand the purpose of taking this video and posting it online. What is the mockery behind it? When, in fact, we have seen or got uh, boss Police uh, men carrying their bag, the bag of their boss, and we have cried out. Okay, why? Why are you posting it? What is the need? What is the purpose behind it? You want the reactions from Nigerians? Because you know quite well it's no good. Well, they're telling you to hell with you, to hell with your thoughts, to hell with whatever you feel. Yes, no.